I'm Pete Travis. I'm one of the directors of Marie Antoinette. It was history from a female perspective, which was very unusual, and that's kind of what made me want to do it. It was a story of Marie Antoinette told from Marie Antoinette's point of view. It was looking at history through a female gaze, and it was dealing with kind of toxic uh, masculinity, all of which seemed really exciting to me, and, and it felt like that was a very unique vision to this story. And we were blessed with an extraordinary cast. All of them brought real strength and uh, vulnerability. The inspiration is a line from a novel. Uh, the past is a foreign country. They do things differently there. That's the inspiration, which is to make history live make it feel like it's living and breathing and is alive. Take us back to imagine what it was like to be Marie Antoinette. We had real places that were really beautiful. We decided that we wanted to shoot it with uh, natural light, so all the light was the light coming through the windows, like it would have been at the time. I wanted the costumes to be clothes, not, not just things for people to wear that would illustrate what people felt like. There's a scene in episode one where a Marie Antoinette's been told by her mother that she has to go to France and she can't stay in Austria. And she begs and pleads with her mother to make her stay. And when we were shooting that scene, Amelia decided to rip the French dress off and throw it on the ground. None of that was in the script, but it perfectly encapsulated what she was feeling. My job is basically to create the space for the actors to fly. If you've got a great story and a great script where they can fly, is, it can be amazing. And that we had those moments every single day. Obviously, we shot in Versailles. Uh, the thing with Versailles is you're only allowed to shoot there one day a week. We shot in a bunch of castles and uh, chateaus all around Paris. And then we shot on a stage. We, we built some of, the, some of the sets from Versailles in a stage. Set design and costumes were just extraordinary. Everybody found a way to not just document what places were really like, but to find the emotional truth in them. Because I was always asked them the question, what, what does this room tell us about the character? What does this dress tell us about the person wearing it? What does this jacket tell us about Louis? We're always looking for ways in which you can illustrate the story. We're not, we're not making a documentary. It's about getting an emotional truth. My approach is basically to trust the actors. It seems to me that a director's job is to create the space for them to fly. All I do is hold a net and they jump off a cliff and I make sure I catch them if they fall. And when you give actors that freedom, then you get real magic. All of the sex scenes are done in a way with an intimacy coordinator. So you talk to actors about what they're happy with. You have an intimacy coordinator that allows the actors to talk to that person without me present. Because a lot of the time in the past, actors have been intimidated by directors in terms of when it comes to intimate scenes. It's really important that actors feel safe and that they can dictate what they're allowed to, what they should do and how those scenes are done. And if you do that, shooting sex scenes is no different than shooting any other scene. You have to be sensitive and you have to listen. Uh, you keep the set closed so people don't have to see what they don't need to see. And most important is that you create a space where the actors feel safe. Well, Marie Antoinette arrives in a carriage. We shot that outside the real palace. It was one of those moments where it's, again, it's done from her point of view. We're seeing it the way she sees it. All the scene was shot and composed from her point of view. Are you never seen anything else like it? This shakes up history like you've never seen it shaken up. It's sexy, it's cool, and it's amazing. History is not kind to losers.